The year is 1066, a dawn of destiny. England's fate hangs in the balance as a battle that will carve the future is on the horizon. King Edward the Confessor lies on his deathbed, casting the shadow of uncertainty over the English crown. Nobles whisper and schemes brew in the dim candlelight. Harold Godwinson, bold and assertive, is crowned amidst contention. Yet his gaze is set on challenges to come, with the English feared, the local militia, at his call. A force not professional but fiercely loyal. Across the channel, William's claim, once promised and now denied, turns to indignation. The Norman Duke prepares for conquest, eyes set fiercely on the English shore. In the north, the Viking King Harold Hardrada eyes the English wealth, readying his longships. A storm brews as ambitions clash. The English feared and House Carls clash with Viking ferocity at Stamford Bridge, where Harold's leadership shines, though victory comes with a steep price. News of William's landing reaches Harold, with haste the Ferd and House Carls march, a march of urgency that stretches the sinews of their resolve. Under the heavy sky of Hastings, two armies poised for a historic clash. The weary Ferd stand with Harold, as William's Normans await, the air thick with tension. Harold's shield wall stands ready, a testament to English might. The feared, alongside trained soldiers, brace against the Norman onslaught. William's tactical prowess comes to the fore as archers and cavalry coordinate in a deadly dance designed to fracture the staunch English defense. The feigned retreat, a Norman ploy, sees the feared momentarily outmaneuvered. It's a harsh lesson in the brutal chess of war. Amidst the ranks, the nobles and the common feared alike fight with desperation. Leofwine Godwinson, Harold's brother, stands tall, his fate intertwined with the land he defends. Chaos reigns as Harold, amidst his men, fights with a ferocity that inspires legend. Each stroke of his sword a line in the annals of history. William's archers take position, loosing a volley that pierces the heart of the English defense. The feared, undisciplined yet brave, hold the line with waning hope. Bishop Odo, William's half-brother, fights not just for land but for legacy, a holy man turned warrior, embodying the complexities of this Norman venture. Close combat ensues, a maelstrom of steel where the feared and house carls face the Norman might. Girth Godwinson falls, a blow to the spirit of the English. Harold's rallying cry, a beacon amidst the storm, inspires a final stand. The feared, their bodies weary, their spirits kindled, fight with renewed vigor. A Norman arrow finds Harold, a stroke of fate that silences the battlefield. The feared's resolve falters as their king falls, the shadows of defeat looming. The balance tilts as Norman determination meets English despair. The feared scatter, their defense broken, the dream of victory lost in the muddy fields of Hastings. As night cloaks the land, English and Norman alike count the cost. The feared return to their homes, carrying tales of bravery and loss. William's reflection is one of somber victory. His ambition achieved at a harrowing cost, the future king ponders the weight of his crown. The aftermath is a tapestry of transformation. The feared, once defenders of their land, now face a new order as Norman rule reshapes society's fabric. William, now king, sets about a grand survey. The Domesday Book, his grand project, will catalog the riches of his realm, down to the last pig and parcel. The Battle of Hastings etches itself into the annals of history, a landmark of conquest and change, its echoes felt in the silent halls of the conquered and the conqueror. In the study of warfare, Hastings stands as a lesson in evolution, where strategy and might clash to forge a new path in military art. Artists and scribes capture the fury and the fallout, their works a testament to the battle's resonance, a muse for creativity and reflection. Harold and William, two leaders of starkly different metal, are immortalized in history. Their legacies, dissected and admired, become part of the lore of leadership. The English countryside transforms as Norman stone rises from the soil, Castles and keeps emerge, symbols of the new order that encase the land. The common folk, the feared among them, adapt to the new world. Their lives and stories, though seldom recorded, are the threads in the fabric of this New England. Norman law and custom take root, altering the very essence of English life. The commoners, once free, now find themselves bound to lord and land. The church, a cornerstone of society, sees its spires reach higher under Norman patronage. The common feared now prey in the shadow of these grand edifices. As the last light of the old era fades, a new dawn breaks over England. A nation forever changed begins its march into the annals of time. The Battle of Hastings, more than a clash of arms, becomes a turning point in the story of a people. It is the genesis of the England that stands today.